All right, my project before the battery goes dead is that um, I've got a couple, two or three air compressors, um, and they all work, you know, and they're all fine. Just you know, they're loud. Now this one isn't loud except for that little vibration that you get out of it, and it's great for the airbrush. Uh, however, even though it starts, you know, that little vibration part, it just it, sometimes it just aggravates me. I like it quiet, and it's always kicking on and off because you're always using the air. So what I'm thinking of doing here is, um, first, don't go by the crookedness of this. This is supposed to be down. However, um, I did find a little leak on this side of the fitting so I unthreaded it and put some dope on it and tightened it back up that's why it ended up crooked and once that dope cures because I haven't got a wrench thin enough to go in there and I really don't feel like grinding down a uh, snap-on right now to get in there so I may go to the store and just buy an old piece of shit wrench grind it down so I can get in there with it because um, even my wrenches that go with my tools and saws and stuff don't fit in there. Uh, don't fit that nut. They'll fit in. They just don't fit the, uh, the nut. So anyway, once that cures, I can probably back this off this side, and then I can put some dope on there and get it even the way I want. Uh, I'm not too concerned with that right now, only because I want to work on this on-off thing. I want to put a, uh, a reservoir there. So what I have is, is an empty tank. Well, it's almost empty. I'm sure there's a little bit left in it, so I'm going to have to figure out a way of draining it. Because um, I don't want to drill in it when it's got gas in there. Um, so I may take it out in the yard and stick something down in there. But anyway, I put this end on just to see what the threads were. Originally it was this. This was threaded in. The airbrush fitting, the hose, threads on to this piece, as you can see right there, and that would normally be in there. Well, what I want to do is incorporate this tank so that it's going to sit something like that. So now this will fill this tank, so I'll have some air in the tank, which will help prevent the compressor from kicking on and off, on and off, on and off. Um, hopefully, anyway, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, if not, no big deal. We just put a little time into it. So anyway, I'm going to empty this out. I'm going to take this off. I just put it there to give me some ideas. I'll unthread that because I do have some uh, some fittings. Excuse me for moving the camera around. But I've got another fitting here. So I'm thinking about fitting this into there. Um, and then if I can find the opposite here, I'll drill a hole and I'll try to TIG into this. I might be better off just sweating it in, I don't know. Um, but MIG, TIG, I gotta see. I know these are real thin. I tried to tack to this once before on something else and I put a hole right through it. So I, I really don't know. I may just uh, sweat it in there, you know. But we'll see what happens. But that's my game plan. And then once I get it all done, and that'll be sitting there, something like that, I'll put it all on a piece of, uh, you know, uh, plywood, you know, um, three-eighths or something like that, or maybe even a, uh, a one-by-six, which would be about uh, three-quarters by five-and-a-half. But I don't know yet. You know, that's not the problem. You know, because I want it all stable at that point. This way when I pick up with the handle, the whole thing will come up together so I don't have to worry about this breaking off. So that's where I'm at. Batteries are going dead. i got to plug this puppy in and uh, I'll give you guys a break and I'll get out of your face. So have a merry guys. I'll catch you later.